This is the third part of the putting series with my man Gavin Flo. This is start line. Yeah. Third part, the third key. Third Let's skill. Play. Third K skill. Skill, man. You dropped wanna... out of college. Think about basketball. Can he shoot the three? Mm. Can he drive? Can he pass? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's skills. Skills. That's what we're uh, working on right now. So specifically, um, the ability to make your ball start on the, your intended line. That's a major skill. Okay. So we're just going old school. Tiger Woods did some gate drills. Okay. Um, basically, I found a straight putt. So we're going to be working on one over the ball. Can you see straight? Which is going to help you with your ability to stretch your ball straight. Okay. You got to see straight to hit it straight. Love that. Got me? You don't have to aim straight. That's right. You got to see straight. You got to see straight. Love that. All right, dog. So I got something for you. Super high tech. My homies at Well Putt sent me this string. I then took one of their Visio mats, or excuse me, one of their like stroke mats. I put it down. I plotted it. And then I put a T on the outside at like seven inches. And you know I hate those so much. On the inside at seven. And then this gate here is like 0.5 millimeters. So if you get it through there, you're really, really cooking, dog. Okay. 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 So you so our goal is we're gonna putt some. We're gonna see phase one, putting your ball on that red dot, and then we're gonna do your first three with no line on the ball. Cool. Okay. Is this line good? Oh yeah. It's money. It feels like it's a little under. Good. Is that okay? Yeah, bro. Okay. Let's cook it. This is the only time you'll ever see me use tees and for the people at home. Oh my gosh, yeah. I didn't touch these. I did not touch them. I'll find something else to use, but for we just need objects of time. to get in his way. So this yes. is just constraint-based coaching. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you a constraint. Don't miss the tee. Oh, excuse me. Don't hit the tees. Cool. Allow your own inner genius to do it. Got it. Because if you can get a ball through there, you're starting it online. Okay. I'm just rolling the rock. Just rolling it. I know I can. But right, most importantly, though, um, as we go through this, man, you just got to get. You got to like. Ooh, so important. Confidence is earned. Yes. Yes. False confidence is like, oh, I took a lesson. Right. Oh, I'm going to do it right. No, no, no. Confidence is earned. You got to yes. get out the mud. You get do. used to starting yes. the ball in line. Yes. Get looks, used to missing these tees. Yes. That's grooving your stroke right now yes. to help you start the ball more in line. Okay. Essentially, all you got to be is within 0.5 degrees out of the open, mm -hmm. 0.5 degrees close, and your ball goes through that gate. Got it. Good. Obviously, we've, we've been training for a long time. Hold on, sir. Bad. What I'm going to do, too. Grab these balls out the hole. Okay. So this is what really has to change. When you do stroke stations like this, I know you. Yep. You're going to sit through here, grind, hit yep. it through, grind. Yep. That's not going to help you transfer I those know. skills. I Ladies know. and gentlemen, he's experiencing a lot of success because the environment's set up for him. But if we want these skills to transfer, we got to take our time. That's right. So what I'm going to do right. now, bro, is after each putt's hold, I just need you to walk over there to grab it. That way we have some spacing. All Enjoy right. this walk. Okay. Enjoy it. Yeah. You know me, man. You Good. know me too well. Yeah, man. Cause you know I, I like to make a putt and just go show the world and hit them with it. Yeah, you, yeah, dude. We gotta, we gotta practice for all of it, man. That's Most right. importantly, dude, it's called interleaving. Is when you do an action, you let it go so you can recall it again. Okay. So the process and the art that we go into to walking into how you would drain a seven foot putt. Okay. That's what we're doing right now. Okay. How we how like. What'd you call that interleaving? Interleaving. So would you come back here, bro? This is how we start working on the real process because I want to evaluate. I love that you have a routine when you do it. Yeah. But it can become a lot more gooder. Okay. A lot more gooder. A lot more gooder. So what I mean by that is let me show you a demonstration. This is the greatest walking golf king. Now, I know you got a great walk, but, dude, this is the greatest walking golf, and here's why. You start behind the target line. You first get used to asking yourself what time you want to get to the what? To the party. Bingo. We get into the party about 6 o'clock. Right at time. Got me? Okay. So now that we're getting in at 6 o'clock, and because it's putt straight, we got to also aim either 5.30 or 4.30. Okay. That's our window to make this putt here. Right. You got me? Mm -hmm. Greatest walking golf goes like this. As soon as my feet pass this string, I'm going to wipe the blade because that's my signal we're going to war got it. against these freaking weasels. Yes. You got me? We yes. got to clean your yes. blade, yes. dog. Yes. War yes. against the weasels, yes. dog. Yes, Come on. He gets it. He you gets go right it. past, wipe the blade. You walk into it. This is the most important part for you, man. Notice how I'm standing in from the plane position. Yes. Too many people. Man. I work here at Salisbury Country Club. I love it to death. Mm -hmm. But every Thursday, we have an outing with the seniors, and this is kind of how they go into their walk process. It looks like this. Like it's going to stay there. Mm. That's not how it works. That's God the bless. woke. That's the worst walking golf. Got it. Got here we're going. We're going back to the greatest. You ready, King? You walk by, wipe your blade. I do love wiping the blade. You come in here from the plan position. You're going to aim the whole club first, King. Then take your grip, King. Notice when I'm taking my grip, I'm looking at the what? Hole. Good. Then you're going to take your stance, King. Then your stance, you're still looking at the what? Hole. Then when you're ready, then when you're ready, you flow. Mm. 
So it's wipe the blade once you pass that. Yeah. Aim the club. Take your grip looking down the line. Take your stance looking down the line. Then you flow. Okay. Because when you get nervous. You start skipping steps. Because I think what happens for you, you set your stance up before you take your grip. And that does influence your ability to aim. Okay. Especially on left to right putts. Okay. When we did it, your last ep- um, when we worked on your green reading, you made all your right to left putts. Yep. You only missed left to rights, yep. and I think it's because you aim too far left. Okay. Mainly because you take your stance before you put your grip on. Okay. But that's just. So for me, a, a major thing that's been in my routine is to square up my shoulders. I have my left hand behind my back, yep. and then I, I'm looking out here. For whatever reason, I just like it. I don't know why, but I've, I've done it forever now. So my question is, if I'm coming in here, do I want to go this early and then I come in? If that's a semi I'm cool with that. I just I, This is very important for me. Oh, I love this. So the reason you do that is because a lot of people think when you do left hand low, it's supposed to get your shoulders level. Right. It's not. You're supposed to add tilt. You're a genius. When you do this on here, that creates the tilt for yes. you. Yep. So I'm telling you right now. Um, if you just keep doing that and taking your grip, just do as before. long as we keep you tilted, mm-hmm. you're going to experience the same success. Okay. You're a genius. Okay. You are an athlete. So, like, that's the name of the game. When you go left hand low, you never want your shoulders to be level because then you hit two down. Right. When you're doing left hand low, you want to always make sure you're tilted like you're hitting a driver. Mm-hmm. So that's why you do this. Yeah. But if you come in here now knowing you set in here, aim your tool, you're already tilted, mm-hmm. bro, it's going to feel even gooder. Okay. But if you don't like it, all I'm saying is at least wipe the blood. We need to get the the grip before we set the stance. That's all, exactly. So I can do this this to set my grip, and then I can set my stance. As long as stance lasts, you're going to be unstoppable. All right, let's go. The funny thing is, like, I have always naturally wiped my blade. I love it. I always do it. As you should. That's your trigger that's about to go to war. We're about to kill these weasels, boy. Money, bro. Love that, Carter. Oh, you cooking. Love that. Great putt, though. Felt Everything about that felt so good. It, it, it's a better flow to it. There we go. Hey, now I got your ball right here, bro. I know. I just want to take the walk. Hey, he's so coachable, man. I love it. Taking my walk, bro. Good. Now, what was really cool, one of the main reasons you missed that is you're trying to do the steps so right Yeah. that we lost sight of we're putting. Yeah. So literally. now I'm going to shut up Kay. and let it just come to you. And just flow. Yeah. It, mm. but ladies and gentlemen watching this, well put. They have great string lines. Um, code, flow, 20, get you some stuff off. So that's all I got this for. Then the T's, the T's, man. I don't like that. So which is really cool is like, cool this that. is an arc. Hope you know, like I put it in down in the arc. These T's are at inside seven feet to make sure you don't get two in. And this is outside seven feet to make sure you don't get two out. So this is keeping you in line. Okay. Kept me in line. I didn't like it. I don't like touching tees. I, I touched get, it. Hey, he did. This is a good drill uh, for me because I actually do genuinely hate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay, I got you. So we're cooking now. You're mostly aiming already to that right tee. So go ahead and set up here. Yeah, man. I want to hammer one of this those. This is the best thing about start line. It helps you manage direction. Yeah, there you go. Just make sure you're aiming square. Make sure you're kind of aiming inside there. You've been aiming at that team. I have been actually. Yeah, see that now. there you go, buddy. Cut. You right. see it? Oh, see that's it. so cool. I do see it. It's crazy because of that. It's like you have a method to it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to use the line on your ball, you can. Okay. But I'm a big believer of when you start putting too much lines, that line on the ball isn't straight. Right. I want you to see straight whether you're using a line on your ball or not. Okay. Okay. But when you start okay. experiencing what's going on right now, ladies and gentlemen, this is just called um, perfect putter. Uh, I just want you to experience what like what a, a straight line is. So just go ahead and put your putter there, like on my inside. Bingo. Go ahead and take your grip. That's what a square putter face would feel like. So to actually, yeah, you feel that? And then because you have an offset there, you gotta go that way. Yeah. See that? Feel that? That's square, dog. That's crazy. I, doesn't that look and feel closed? But that's dead square. Okay. Makes sense, bro? Yeah. And then because you left hand low, I might have fudged you a little bit, but you gotta have that tilt. Yeah. Feel that, bro? Yeah. Okay. Let's go cook. All right. So those of you who do not have this, all you need is a straight line. Like a phone? Yeah, a phone. A rectangle. Pencils. Like, scorecard pencils work great, too. Just to set up to that, like if it was like a ball. For all my blue-collar people, a square. Yeah. A square is actually a triangle in um, construction. 
with measurements. You call it a square, but it's a triangle. Oh, that's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Just to, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Felt good not to hit tees, bro. It had been a while. It had been a while. Good, man. Walk, so walk. then the next level to this drill is we then oh. just remove degrees of freedom. Okay. So now you hop on here, no string, start it online. I'm gonna rock these things. I'm gonna rock them. Good, dude. Stop. Start freaking out and punching people. Good. It's good for you, DOD. I know, I know it is. I hate, I hate that it's good for me. Is my, is my one issue. And so everybody's good. gonna be roasting me for the tees and stuff, and I'm hitting them, and they're pissing me off. So people are gonna come at me. But it's good for me. It's good. It's good for me. It's good. It's called spade a spade. Call it. Go cook, bro. <clears throat> good. So then we start noticing. Whoa, you're hitting the rightward tee. Right. As a coach, I'm like, okay, what's going on? He keeps hitting the rightward tee. So then I would say, dude, we're actually going to inverse it. Let's put some this way. I'm going to remove this tee. And now you're just going to practice missing. Hold on, what would be the opposite? Yeah. You want me to go left? I was, I was hitting the right one, so I must have been coming in two inside. Yeah, I, was, I need to flip them so we would come here. And we're back. We have switched. I hate to say this. We have switched the tees. I'm gonna come up with my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna build like a divot tool repair thing yes. that is like a T, but it's like metal. And I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna write weasel on it. Love it. I think. So figured out. Uh, we just did this exponentially. This is just for starting your ball through this. Yes. This is not gonna go on the hole. Okay. Okay. This is solely start line. Start line. And there's yeah. no result oriented no, 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 besides no, no. the fact that it, yeah, dodge this, the tee. dodge that, go through exactly. that success. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Start line is hard. I will say, like, to train it is hard. It's going to be a lot of failure. I have a lot of pent-up aggression after keep on hitting those tees. But it is good for me, and it's going to be good for you guys as well. It's yes. hard to do, but when you're on the course and you know you are reading the greens properly, you are aiming properly, your speed and feel is proper, and you're starting your ball on your line, you are going to start making every single putt you look at. And that's it. Thanks. Watch these videos. Go train. Be better. Thank him, and then thank me. Let's go. Come on, dog. You're welcome. You start freaking out, bro. Yeah, practice what you preach, bro. You, you start good. freaking out, bro. When you do make it, it's going to go like here. Gavin. Yeah. I'm going to start freaking out. Hey, baby, we're going to do one more. Start freaking out. And what's so cool, dude, is you're just a right aimer, bro. I know. It's brilliant. It's, it's consistent, is so which is the thing. This it's is so good it's for consistent. You. The other thing is, like, if you are consistently getting it through this. You know how you, hard that is? You have zero margin of error. Yeah, man. So if you're, getting, if you're getting a ball through here consistently. You're cooking. You are literally dialed in as, on all facets. <laughs> yes. Because this is literally a golf ball. Yeah. He's getting mad when he misses. I am so. getting mad. I'm a, I love it. I like to be, I want to be great, you know. If I hit one more time, I'm going to start rocking people. No matter what, after this one, we're going to end it with some more gate drills. Okay, all right, all right. You got it, man. Lock in. Get me out of here, bro. Get Just me out aim of here. less right. I'm going to start freaking out. Get away from me. I'm going to start freaking yeah, out. Yeah, here we go. Go back to where it all started. This is good, right? This is good for me, bro. My mom always told me, it's like, not everything that's good for you is going to be easy. Yeah, you're exactly or right. Something like that. She says something like that. All right, DOD. So what we're doing now, man is that the name of the game for most people, all we did to create this, let me see this, yep. is I put down a Sharpie as an indicator. All you're really doing, ladies and gentlemen, is taking your putter and you're just putting a T there and there on your putter. Kay. That's how you make a gate. Kay. Sure, if you want it to be easier, you can do the width of your putter face. Nah, but we want. I want to be great. Bingo. That's why we're going to be inside your phalange yep. and your thing there. Got it. So then I'm just putting an indicator. Cool. We don't want to be average, folks. I want you to... You're, you've missed so many. You're starting to get revved up. I know you. In order to be great like you say you do and say you want to be, you got to give up on the result or the outcome. I know that's hard to do. Yep. This needs to become more of a daily devotion to get better. I know. What I need you to get better at right now, Carter, is can you see the red dot or not? Okay. After you putt, can you see it? Okay. That's more important than you make it or not. Okay. Give me your, we're going to hit eight putts right now. Okay. Our intent is how many red dots can you see? Okay. I'll keep up if you make it or not. Okay. Cool? Cool. Just cook. Do Just do your job. Okay. Your job is to see the red dot. Okay. 
I saw it. You saw it? I'm gonna start freaking out, but I saw it. I seen you see it. the red? I seen it. How long did you see it? For a long time. Good. Still that, looking at it. That's the goal. Now this time I want the speed of the ball to be softer. You see it? Yeah. Now let's just recreate those feelings. Now you're starting to flow, dog. Come on. Everybody wants to say they want to get better at putting, but they're not willing to do what it takes to get better at putting. Working on the four putting skills gets you better at putting. What was happening, bro, is you had an intended line. Mm -hmm. You weren't able to hitch too firm. Right. Makes sense. Now it's like slotted. Get that out of there. Three in a row that I've, four in a row I've seen the dot. Let's go for five in a row. Come on. Toby. We got four putts left. Hey, man. Let's cook. Beautiful. We're going to put that over here. Misses over there. Good. You got two to play. Keep looking at the dot, bro. Saw the red dot every time. We got it through it. Six out of eight. Through a golf ball size gap. So what's the important thing for anybody watching this here? One, the empower of practice. You need to make sure you have spacing, veritability, and challenge. Say um, that again for the people. You need to make sure that you have spacing, veritability, and challenge. You'll notice that before he hit any putt, I made sure he regripped it. He walked into it. Um, he practiced his pre-putt routine. Yes. Which I think not enough people did. Agreed. Or so do. Was, yeah. Um, when it comes to skills, I'm, I'm loving how yours are evolving. Start line's probably the biggest bang for anybody's buck. Yep. Um, just start off with the width of your putter head. Then go a couple paces back, put a dot. Um, to really improve, use some tools, um, build a constraint. We created a stroke station. Yes. Um, this was dope. Yes. I think the last skill we really got to work on is your aim. Yep. That's it. Bet. Dude, that was beautiful. Hopefully you guys are loving this. Make sure to drop some comments if you are. Drop some likes. Share it to your friends that suck at putting. Thanks. They need to get better too. Make Thanks. sure to go subscribe to Gavin because the final part is going to be on his channel. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know how y'all are doing. D.O.D. King, out.